In this video, I just want to go over a few key maps that I've been working on in the mini that files plugin. And I'm going to be explaining the reasons why I think these key maps are important. I'm not just adding them just because, but there's a reason behind them. If you don't know what mini.files is, it's just a file explorer that is available in NeoVim. It gives you a preview on the right hand side of the file that you're hovering over. Notice that here I'm in this sample markdown.md file. If I go back here to this other file, for example, I can see its preview. It allows you to organize your buffers or manage files using Vim motions. So you can yank, paste, and do everything like if you were in a single buffer. I spend most of my day in NeoVim or in the terminal. And sometimes, for example, I need to share files with a coworker. So what do you do or what do I do? I open Finder since I use macOS. I get to the file that I want. I can easily get to the file in NeoVim. If I press space F as in file and then capital O, I have a key map to open the current file in the file explorer. So then I go in Finder, copy the file, paste it in Slack, for example. I would like to be able to do that from NeoVim itself. So I implemented a few key maps that allow me to do this. I want to share this entire file. If I open mini.files, you're going to notice that here's the markdown file and here are the images that belong or that are in this file. Let's say that I want to share the entire thing with that coworker over Slack without going through Finder and doing all that. I'm going to go back one level. I'm going to press a key map that I created, YC to yank and zip. YC, you're going to notice a message there on the bottom right corner. Now let me go back to Slack. I'm just going to paste this here. Notice that I just typed this key on my keyboard, which is something that I configured in Mac OS. If you want to know how I did that, I have this video, Advanced Keyboard Mappings. I go over all the different mappings that I have in Mac OS. So now I'm just going to hit enter here to send this file. Notice that it created a zip file for me. It added this time and date at the end of the file. And now let's see if this file works. I will come here in Slack and I'm just going to download it. Notice that it's shown here in Finder. Here is the file. I'm just going to double click it. That is going to extract the file. If we look at the markdown file now, it's shown here. Let's see if the images are there and the images are here inside the file. So as you were able to tell, that was pretty simple to achieve. What if, for example, you don't need to zip a file, but you just need to share, for example, an image with a coworker or something and you're inside NeoVim, or you need to share a configuration file. Let's share an image first, just to give it a try. Before I continue with the video, if you want to know more about mini.files, how I set it up and all the details, I would highly recommend you to go and check this video out. I explain how I set it up in detail there. Okay, so we wanted to share an image, for example. Let me go to this test images directory. I have a few WebP images here because Slack does not recognize AVIF images. So I'm just going to type another key map that I created, which is YC to yank to the clipboard. You're going to notice at the bottom, copy to system clipboard. Now let's go back to Slack. Let me just close this little message here. And I'm going to type this to paste because that's the key map that I configured. And now I'm just going to send that image. Notice that the image was sent without any issues. Let's download this image and see how big it is. Just click there, download. Let's click here and show in Finder. And the image is only 100 kilobytes because that's the way that I stored the image in the WebP format. Let's say that, for example, instead of an image, you need to share a configuration file. Let me go to my .files latest directory with a key map, and let me look for a file that I can send over here. Let's go back here. I want to send, for example, a JSON file. Let's go to this VS Code folder for all of the VS Code fans out there. And I'm just going to type YC again, copy to system clipboard. Let's go back to Slack. Just going to close this annoying window here. And I'm just going to hit paste, send the file and notice that the file was sent correctly. I can expand this file here in Slack and it works just fine. Another scenario would be if you need to share files or if you need to copy files between your terminal sessions. So notice, for example, that I use Tmux. You will be able to see that at the very top. That is the little bar that says that files latest. And let's say that, for example, I need to copy a file from this NeoVim instance to this other NeoVim instance, which is my Obsidian directory or the other way around. It doesn't matter. But let's say that, for example, I need to grab this um, sample markdown directory, which is in a completely different path and is in a completely different NeoVim instance. I'm just going to copy this YC copied it to the system clipboard and now I'm going to switch back to my other Tmux session for that I just press shift here on my keyboard on my left hand side because that's the way that I configured my Tmux alternate session let's say that for example I need to paste it in this main directory 
I'm just going to type this other key map that I configured, which is capital P and notice what happened. I got a message there at the bottom that it was pasted successfully. And if we scroll up a little bit, you'll be able to see here the sample markdown file, all of the contents inside. Let me open the file so you can confirm that it actually works and that the images were also brought over. So here I'm in the file. I'm just going to fold my headings ZK. That's the way that I configured it to fold headings of level two. I have a video about folds as well. You'll be able to find that video here because you want to learn how I set all of that up. And if we go to this heading, I have an image listed here and it's shown correctly. If you don't trust that these are two different NeoVim instances, let's do something different. I'm going to copy the file across terminal emulators. Notice that I'm using Ghosty right now. Let me open up Western, which is here. Let me go to NeoVim here in Western. I will switch to my that file's latest directory. I'm not running Tmux here, just bare Western. I'm just going to open NeoVim. Let me go back to the other terminal emulator, which is Ghosty. And now let's grab this entire directory. I'm gonna bring up mini.files. Here is the sample markdown. Just gonna YC to yank to the system clipboard. I'm gonna switch to Western. You can see that on the top left corner. And now I'm going to paste this. Where would you like me to paste it? I'm gonna paste it in this, um, in this lazy git directory. I'm just gonna type here capital P and notice that this sample markdown was pasted. Let's go here to the right. Let's open this file and let's see, for example, if it's loading the images or if the images were added correctly as they should. And we can see down here that they were. Notice that I copied a directory from Ghosty to Western inside NeoVim and I copied from mini.files and I pasted it into mini.files. And let me show you a third example. I would like to preview images with the mini that files plugin. And it's not just because I want to preview images. It's because, for example, if I'm working with my blog post and I paste some images there, I want to quickly preview the images and delete the ones that are not needed. Let me go to my blog post real quick. I'm just going to press hyper TL because that's the way that I configure the key map that brings it up. Let me open a file, this Apple Watch, for example. This is the last article that I published a few days ago. And if we come here to set up Mac OS, I think I have some images here. I this image, for example, or if we scroll down a little bit more, I have other images. Where do I have them? Let me see here. Here under introduction, I have this image here and I have this other image here. Sometimes I want to delete the images and I have a key map for that. If I press space ID, I get this pop up, delete image file. And if I type yes, I can delete it. There's no problem there. That works really well. But sometimes I want to go to the images directory. For example, if I come back here to the assets directory image images, I would like to preview these images to clean stuff up that is not needed anymore. This key map does not work 100% yet. I'm still working on it. But if, for example, I type the letter I here, I'm going to open this preview, I can see the image file name and its size. If I hit escape, it's going to take me back to where I was. I can do the same thing here. And as you can tell, I loaded the second image, but it's not working. If I type here I again, so this is still a work in progress. I haven't figured it out completely yet, but it's something that I'm working on and hopefully will work. I'm not a plugin creator. So what I'm about to show you right now is how I implemented this. This may not be the best way, but I just needed to come up with something and this is what's working so far. So if you look at here, I'm in my mini.files Lua plugin configuration. This is in my dot files. If you're new to the channel, my dot files are listed here. I'm going to leave a link in the video description. If you like what you find here, make sure to star this repo here on the top right corner. And then here, if you go in the search bar, you will be able to find, for example, mini dash files that Lua. This is the file that I'm working on here. So here's my configuration. I go over this in my other mini dot files video. And if we keep scrolling down here a little bit more, you will be able to find the key maps that I configured. They're not here under keys. They're here under the setup options. So notice that I'm using auto commands when the file type is mini files. That means when I'm inside the mini.files window or preview. So here's where I have the different key maps. This is one that is quite useful as well. Sometimes I need to open a specific directory in a Tmux pane on the right hand side. So if I bring up mini.files here, and for example, I go to this snippets directory. I'm going to type comma here and you're going to notice that it opened on the right hand side, a Tmux split window in that snippets directory. If I exit out of here and if, for example, now I go to a different directory, let's say to this NeoBean sticky and I type a comma here, notice that it's going to open a Tmux pane on the right hand side inside that directory. So that is something that I implemented, which is useful if you want to navigate or if you need to type commands in a specific directory that works.
This is what copies the current file or directory to the system clipboard. Here's the key map, YC. Keep in mind that I'm using Mac OS. So this only works for Mac OS at the time. I don't use Linux. I don't plan to use Linux anytime soon. But if you're using Linux, this is the command that you will need to change. Notice that here I'm declaring this command and this is what copies to the system clipboard in Mac OS. So it's pretty simple. If you're a Linux user, you basically just need to replace this command with the Linux version. If you implement and test that, it's wonderful. You can submit a PR in my dot files and I'll merge it just to help the Linux folks out there. If we keep scrolling down, here's another key map, YZ. This is the one that zips the file or the directory and copies it to the clipboard so that you can share it in Slack, for example. So if we scroll down here, again, this is for Mac OS. You will have to change this copy command. Wherever you see this OSA script or however it's pronounced, you need to replace that with the Linux version. Okay, so if we keep scrolling down here a little bit more, this is another key map. This is the one to paste. Notice that this is capital P and this is to paste the current file or directory from the system clipboard into the directory where you're in in mini.files. Again, I use Mac OS. So remember to modify this. Here is the script for the Linux version. So this is what you should modify. And if we keep scrolling down here, I don't think there's anything else Mac OS related. This is another one if you wanna copy the current file or directory path to the clipboard. For example, sometimes you just need a files path or its directory. So if I type option C or alt C in Mac OS, let me go to one, for example, this image clip is gonna type here, alt C. Notice that the path was copied to the clipboard. If I bring up my clipboard on Mac OS, you're gonna see that there. Let's try that with a directory instead. I'm just gonna type here, command C, and it was copied to the clipboard. I can see that or I can confirm that here in my Mac OS clipboard as well. If for example, we grab another one, this command C or alt C, I'm sorry, was copied. And I can see that here in my system clipboard. Okay, so that's another one that I think it's quite useful and I tend to use a lot of different times. This is the one that is not working yet. Preview the selected image in a pop-up window. So if I type the letter I when I'm over an image is what shows the other pop-up. If you're able to fix this, and if you're able to preview an image using the default mini.files previewer, please let me know because I'm highly interested instead of opening the pop-up. But here you can find the code. I haven't submitted this code yet, so you will not be able to find it in my .files. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to push it today or not, but if you're interested, just let me know down in the comments. It's only working sometimes. If I try to preview images in this Obsidian directory, I think it's gonna work. Let's see, okay, so it worked. If I hit escape, it's going to take me back. If I type I here, now it's showing the same image again. So I have to figure it out. Let me give it a try one last time. I, I, no, I'll, I'll figure it out. So those are the key maps that I have configured so far in mini.files. I tried to use Yassi for a couple days, but honestly, I prefer mini.files with these features implemented, especially if I can take files out of mini.files to my system clipboard and share them in another application or share them in another new instance. If you have any other key maps or if you have any other suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. If you have code optimizations, because I'm not a programmer, please share them as well. If you think this can be improved and optimized. I hope this was useful. That was it for today. I'll see you in the next video.